Hello, welcome to Stiff Joints. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kenner Alien and Predator Battle Pack. So, these um, were released by Kenner uh, in say like the early 90s, possibly 91, 2 or 3, I'm not entirely sure. But to start off we're going to look at oh, great, the first few accessories. So the only figure to come with accessories is the Predator. It comes with this sort of um, pistol kind of thing. Um, I've never seen this in the films. I don't recognise it. I'm sure it's in a game, like a uh, Aliens vs Predator Classic 2000. Um, it's uh, it's you know it's relatively well sculpted. It's not overly complex or anything. It's a uh, it's just kind of basic, if anything. Uh, features no paint whatsoever. Uh, it's just flat there. Um, but you know he, he holds it quite well, and you know it. For a toy in the 90s, um, it's actually quite of a, it's of a quite high quality. <laughs> the next step is this uh, spear, which he also holds well. It's got a, a peg here. See if it wants to focus. I think it's focused. It's got a peg here. Goes in to his back. Um, there's just a little hole in it. This is a, this is quite well sculpted. It's uh, sturdy. It's not weak plastic. It's you know, it's actually kind of hard to bend, um, and um, hasn't broken yet, obviously, so yeah, that's quite good. Very sturdy accessories. And last but not least, we have his uh, helmet, or whatever. Uh, let's try to get a focus, but is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. So, um, this is cool. It's got a little uh, sort of dent in it, and uh, that, that's like a very nice little detail. Uh, it looks like a predator mask. It's very, very well sculpted. It's identifiable um, as a predator mask. Uh, it's got the little um, sort of what's it, a laser target thing uh, here at the the side here, uh, and then it has the inside, which is a sort of like blue tack. You know, you get the, the mold in there. Well, yeah, that, that's not great, but yeah. Uh, so and that obviously helps it grip onto the face. It just kind of, you know, it's molded to fit on it. So the first figure we're going to take a look at is the Predator. This is incredibly cool. It's a uh, paint. Now his armor, you know, it's f flat brown, and then you, you know you get this um, skirt kind of thing, which is a, a red. But it, you know, it's actually quite well sculpted. Got a little bit of detail and stuff. It's not basic, no, it's not flat, which it, you know, you'd think it might be. Um, his skin, it's kind of like a, fades from a, a blue, uh, or fades from a sort of a vanilla, kind of yellowy white, um, to sort of, mm, I want to say navy, uh, light navy, you know, some kind of bluey grey kind of colour. Then for uh, the dreadlocks, you've got some uh, rings, I don't know what they are, uh, kind of cool. Um, obviously it looks like his dreadlocks, they're shorter than, uh, the, they would be, now his head is interesting, it's, uh, it's closed, uh, and this, it's quite different compared to the, the NECA one, because they're usually open, it's got cool green eyes, uh, going on in there as well, let's see, um, ah, oh, bugger, totally lost focus now. Yeah, there, there. It's just green. It looks like there's some kind of detail in there, but I'm not seeing it. It's kind of, it's got, you know, kind of like eyebrows, but I think they're scraped. But for some reason, uh, well, these were packaged when I got them, so I don't understand how that has happened. But, you know, the, you know, they've aged quite well. You know, they're they're not brittle. You know, they're very, you know. Whoa, I'm, oof, I am great at cameras. Um. But no, they're very sturdy, these. So, the mask. So, two pegs. They're not too noticeable. So, there's like holes here at the side. Let's see if it wants to focus again. Like a bastard, it won't. Right, okay. Holes at the side here. And it just slots in. And this is good because it doesn't make it bulbous the head. And it just stays on very well. Very, very well, you know. It, it stays, and that's that's sure that's what children all want, you know. Sure, most ch kill children's. Oh my God, children would want the helmet on it. 
So uh, th this is the hole where the um, the uh, spear goes in. Stays in relatively well, actually. You know that's quite good. You know, and I don't really move about. This is blowing my mind. And uh, he also has um, the sort of a blaster pistol thing here, which just uh, his hands kind of molded. To hold both the spear and that. Uh, I'll show you the spear in a minute. But um, no, he, he, this one he doesn't hold quite as well. But it's not, it's not too bad, really. Uh, it's kind of just a little wobbly, but it's actually kind of good. Um, you know, it's like that's all right, and I don't think many kids will be tapping it. So that stays in quite well. Um, uh, actually, kind of move. Um, yeah, so the spear he holds um, here like that. So that's been molded to hold both, mainly the spear. The spear looks cooler though. Uh, his hands are actually quite cool. That's quite cool looking, isn't it? You can see the sort of tendons and stuff. That's cool. That, uh, you know, for the considering the age, you know, um, you see this figure, and then you get. The, the most recent Predator, oh my god, uh, you get, the, you know, the most recent Predator from the, the new movie that came out uh, what, September last year, and was, you know, it's bloody tall, Jesus Christ, but you know, it's just kind of like, look at how figures have changed, um, an awful lot, you know, that's a, that's a big difference, you know, and uh, I suppose this is made for grown-up people, um, not like me, but, um, you know, this wasn't, this is just a, a kid's toy. Um, but con putting that into consideration, it's aged fabulously. Yeah, whatever. So, last but not least, we have the Alien, which features no accessories. But, I mean, I kind of would have liked um, some kind of egg, or... Uh, a face hugger, mainly a face hugger, or both a face hugger coming out of an egg. They really, really missed uh, an opportunity uh, not giving the alien any accessories, which is a real shame, I think. Um, this is uh, also quite a good figure. It's sort of just flat black, but the, it makes up for this with a sort of dome uh, on the head, which there's also a skull inside there. It's really faint. It's hard to see in real life, but you can kind of see it at certain points. But, uh, you know, like there you can see the ridges, but that's it. Also, I have the teeth, which are um, sort of silver. Uh, they're not incredibly well detailed. They kind of look weird now that I think about it, but they're not too bad. But the body is really cool. You know, you get. These, which are a separate piece, they are held quite sturdy, but, you know, don't push your luck. Um, it, it, it's it's very identifiable as the shape of an alien. The tail is cool. This is, yet again, quite sturdy. Um, uh, it, it, this is like a swivel. Yeah, this is a your standard Kenner uh, articulation with the five points, but this one has an extra point. You know, head swivels, full 360 if they weren't in the way, and same with the Predator, that struggles as well. Arms do a th full 360 on another swivel joint here. Uh, oh god, this one's hard, the leg. Uh, the leg, uh, you know, it's kind of stiffer, but you know, that also moves around. You got crap on the feet, or not, not this one, uh, or this one. I don't know where they're putting the information. Ah, the inside of the leg is where... They're putting their legal guff. Uh, this time it's very hard to read, so it doesn't actually get in the way of anything. But no, the sculpt for this figure is actually very, very good. Um, it's impressive, considering the time. And you know, these are these uh, sort of weird figures where, you know, they're based on um, adult movies, but they're making figures for children, and it's like, what? Is that, that going to appeal to them? And well, it really did, because uh, these these sold quite well, I think. Um, and you know, it makes sense, considering that you know they're quite very well made. 
uh, the first time I ever got a Kenner figure uh, from uh, Aliens and Predator, I thought they were going to be three inches, but they're five, which is actually quite cool. I, I mean, I think I prefer five inches for most things. I think. Uh, obviously, they're more expensive, and obviously, um, more expensive to make as well. But I feel like the, you know, you can put more detail on them most of the time. But I do like the sort of, um, I will say they're three inch figures are more durable and portable, uh, easier to get around, uh, and like these. But, um, you know, the fact that they're a taller sort of a build and a, you know, I think that's uh, enabled them to age better. Because if they were three inches, you know, I, I bet they'd be. Uh, way less uh, of a detailed sculpt and the paint applications would be far more basic than they already are but they're all right um, in my book and you know if you see these for a reasonable price I'd pick them up if you were an Aliens vs Predator fan or just one of the two because you know the, this is the basic most basic normal Alien and Predator figures you're gonna get because you get crazy things like a lava predator and a, a bull alien. You get a scorpion alien, which looks like the alien for aliens, but it's it's kind of brown and like the, the one in the film, so it's still kind of crazy and it like it explodes as well. So yeah, that that's cool. Um, yeah. So if you see these reasonable price, pick them up. Thanks for watching. This was the Alien and Predator Battle Pack by Kenner.